Texas football is back on the map. Will the Longhorns own the map? Next on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, ranking all the schedules in the Power Five. That's all the conference teams plus the major independents. That's 70 teams. We've arrived at schedule number 32. It belongs to Texas. Please help us build the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. So if you or anybody in your household does Amazon shopping, help us build the channel and continue to deliver content to you that obviously needs resources. So you grab the link. You don't spend an extra penny. No other inconveniences. You don't have to buy the product. Just do your regular Amazon shopping using that link. Thank you so much. Also, you can join us at the Voice of College Football community, and I'm going to leave the uh, link down in the comment section below. So grab that link. Join us at our Voice of College Football community. We're having a great time. Two exclusive live streams every week involving you. I respond and react to your comments, number one. Number two live stream each and every week is you coming on here to talk college football with me. Let's talk college football. It's the game we love. Texas in scheduling, always schedules difficult. Credit the Longhorns scheduling the likes of Notre Dame, Ohio State, USC in recent years and in future years. This year, it's, of course, a tilt against LSU. All right. For the Longhorns, it's Louisiana Tech. Not an easy go in week number one, August 31st. Of course, you would expect the Longhorns to take care of business, but you would have expected it against uh, uh, Maryland teams that went five and seven the past two years. And of course, the Terps took out Texas two straight times. All right, everybody's looking at uh, week number two, September 7th, at home in Austin against LSU. I have ranked it as my number one non-conference game in college football for 2019. I cannot wait for that game. The final Texas non-conference games at Rice at the uh, home of the Houston Texans on September 14th. All right, Big 12 play starts in earnest on September 21st, and Texas's most difficult stretch is right out of the gate. Oklahoma State at home, West Virginia on the road. Of course, those two teams played a classic game in Austin last year with Will Greer, ta Greer taking care of business in the final seconds, but uh, most of the West Virginia firepower is gone. And Texas goes to West Virginia on October 5th. And then the showdown that should decide the Big 12 championship once again. I hate to think that it's going to be this cut and dry, but it's probably going to be this cut and dry. Oklahoma, Texas at the Cotton Bowl, October 12th. And, of course, Texas won that game, and that spurred them on to a Big 12 championship game rematch with the Sooners in Dallas at Jerry's World in December. All right, the closing run is not easy, but it's not difficult. The elite teams are out of the way, LSU and Oklahoma. So Texas is going to have to be ready and prepared and ready to go early in the season. But once October 19th hits, we're pretty much going to know where Texas stands in regards to football. Not that there won't be upsets in this season. But Kansas, a trip to TCU, most likely the third best team in the Big 12 Kansas State at Iowa State, always tricky. The Cyclones have been difficult for the best teams in the Big 12 the past two years, of course. At Baylor, the Bears getting better. Texas Tech to close it out. So again, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and Oklahoma at the Cotton Bowl to start out the Big 12 slate should decide Texas's fate inside the Big 12. The LSU game, of course, goes into the college football playoff picture right out of the gate in week two, September 7th in Austin. This is the second most difficult schedule in the Big 12, even though Texas doesn't have to play itself. They've got to play the LSU Tigers. And uh, that is the most difficult uh, out-of-conference game for anybody in the Big 12. And Texas has the 32nd most difficult schedule in college football. All right, Texas, what are they going to do this season? Don't hold me to this. This is our spring-slash-summer projection. I will have my final predictions the final two weeks of August leading into the season. For Texas, they go 9-3. and three. They go 7-2 and two in the Big 12.
do the math difference and consider the non-conference schedule. And you've got my prediction for the Texas LSU game right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Leave your Texas prediction down below. And of course, help us build the channel by grabbing that Amazon link. Joining us at uh, the voice of college football community, grab that link down below as well as we do college football better than anybody online. Best discussion, debate and analysis right here. We will see you soon with schedule number 31.